Hi all, this is the last lecture uh, in uh, module 4, lecture 8. It is about displacement current. So, uh, in last lecture, uh, we learned about one modification in Maxwell's equation based on Faraday's law. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Maxwell's equation, the first equa two equations, there is no change. But uh, when it comes to the curl, in electrostatics, we learned that our uh, uh, the curl of uh, electric field is equal to zero. Or we say our field is conservative. But when it comes to time varying, time varying case, uh, from Maxwell, uh, from Faraday's law, we uh, understood in the last class that uh, it is not conservative anymore, but it is equal to what minus dou B by dt. And we also seen that electric field intensity and electric field and magnetic field are inter interrelated when it comes to uh, time varying field, where they were independent when it comes to uh, steady uh, magnetic or uh, electric field or st st static magnetic or electric field it was uh, independent but here it came to be dependent so that is the one major thing we studied so that is based on what uh, about uh, about the curl of electric field uh, uh, that, that is what we discuss now these equations are about the uh, what about the curl of electric field similarly in magnetic field also we have a Maxwell's equation which is based on the curl Right. What is that equation? And uh, what means what about the curl of magnetic field? What is that equation? So on that equation, which is based on, I think you all remember, on uh, what the curl of uh, magnetic field. What is the Maxwell's equation? So that is based on what the Ampere circuit law. That particular equation is based on Ampere circuit law. Or del cross H equal to J. Right. Del cross H is equal to the current density. So that was our equation, right? and when we are now, let us see whether it is applicable to what, whether there is some problem with that when it comes to the time varying fields. So that is our quest for today, right? So that is what we are going to look into today. Okay. So, so ambient circuit L4 for, for static electromagnetic field, for, for static magnetic field, whatever. For static electromagnetic field, when you say when you see what is ambient circuit law, del cross H equal to J, right? The magnetic field density H, magnetic field density H, its curl is equal to what the current density through a conductor. That is what we learned with static uh, magnetic field. But an interesting part is that when you have a vector like this, okay, once you have taken the cross product of it, again, if you take the dot product of it, it will become zero, right? Uh, means del cross h is what del cross h means if you consider del as a vector h as a vector del cross h itself is what perpendicular to uh, that h and del let me say but again the divergence of the curl then what means what yeah, you are the divergence of the curl of any vector that is a zero that is zero that is an identity divergence of the curl of any vector is zero so if we apply that del dot del cross h equal to zero Right. If we apply that, we will get that del dot del cross h equal to what? Del dot del cross h will be equal to 0. Del cross h equal to say if you take the dot product of that again, then it will give you what? The divergence of the curl. That is 0 for any vector. Understood. So del dot del cross h is 0. Now, based on, uh, uh, now wh what we say, we, we say del dot del cross h is 0. That is the left hand side of the equation, right? Del uh, dot product. So in the right hand side, we have got current density here. So its dot product also should be what? Del dot j also should be equal to 0, right? So we have a magnetic field produced and if we take the uh, di divergence of the curl of that vector, it is 0. So that, that means your del dot j also should be equal to 0. That is what it is meaning, right? If LHS is equal to 0, uh, zero then RHS should also should be equal to 0. Now, that is a contradiction here. When you come to time varying field, when you are coming to time varying field or when you have the current which is flowing in the time varying field, what we have learned? We have learned that del dot j equal to minus dou rho v by dt. That is in what time varying field. So, it is not equal to 0. So, this is our, this is our understanding from last uh, uh, maybe before two, two, three classes, we learn continuity equation. So, so there is a contradiction, right? One equation in the static field suggests you that del dot j is zero. But in when it comes to time varying field, you already know that based on continuity equation, 
your del dot j is not at all going to be zero so it is quite clear so there is some problem with it that is what maxwell also so so what he have done so what we can uh, what our understanding from here is that when you try just to divergence of the curl we got that del dot j is zero as per our ambient circuital law in static conditions so but based on continuity equation we got that it is not equal to zero so what we can state is that ambient circuital law is incompatible for what time varying field it is right it is true whenever it is static magnetic field and it is not true whenever it comes to time varying magnetic field right so that understanding we already uh, we got from uh, uh, comparing these two equations they one is the uh, our static maxwell equation del cross h equal to j another one is what the continuity equation okay so in the for time varying field continuity equation is true but there is some problem with what ambient circuital law so what is the modification we are going to so the modification what we are going to make is like this so del cross h equal to j right so uh, what modification maxwell does is that this equation needs to be modified right to satisfy the continuity equation and how we know that continuity equation true for a time varying field because it is defined for time varying field so we have to make some arrangements so that del cross h equal to j and this j uh, del dot j should not become what zero so what we are going to do so uh, we are thinking about an addition in the current density means addition term in this curl equation means del cross h equal to j was already there now with that j i am adding another term which is uh, here it is represented as what j uh, suffix d okay so jd is my word jd is the a term which is added okay just mathematically only maxwell also just added it so uh, for for this purpose so now jd needs to be de determined and defined that that we will keep it, keep as it is okay what is jd that we will see so for just for math just mathematically when you take uh, when you take what the apply apply the divergence of the curl equation del dot del cross h means what that is anyhow zero only but on the right hand side you you have got uh, two terms here j and j plus jd so similarly here what you will have when you take del dot here it will become del dot j plus del dot jd so here del dot j is not directly zero but del dot j plus del dot jd is equal to zero right so here now what what does it mean it means that your continuity equation also can be fulfilled because now del dot j is not zero but what it is del dot j will be equal to del dot j will be equal to what del dot j will be equal to minus del dot j right so this uh, is what what uh, what was given by maxwell with the applying this modification based on continuity equation so del dot j equal to minus del dot j now let us define now we already uh, solved the problem we already solved the problem with ambient circuital law in static condition right Where, because now del dot j is not zero so our continuity equation also is satisfied so we can say that the, uh, in time varying field your jd also will be definitely the okay so del cross h is not only j but it is j plus jd so this is uh, uh, from this we get that del dot j equal to minus del dot j now once we know this <coughs> let us see what is del dot j the continuity equation states that del dot j equal to what minus dot rho v by dot t that is what continuity equation equation is right the uh, the time rate of change of volume charge density that is what our the, the, the divergence of what current density which we call as the conduction current density really right conduction current density due to the flow of what electrons in the conductor now when we take del dot jd that negative sign uh, since del dot j equal to minus del dot jd so this negative sign will go del dot jd will become equal to what dot rho v by dot t right when this equation is valid then del dot jd will become dot rho v by dot t what is volume dot density based on our first maxwell equation we can write that what del dot d equal to rho v so rho v can be substituted with what del dot d so it will become dot by dot t of del dot d so if we take since this del operator is an operator which is working operating on space right so del means what dot by dot x x cap plus dot by dot y y cap plus dot by dot z y z cap this is something which is operating on what space so we can just simply take the time differentiation inside right so that will become del dot jd equal to dot by dot t of del dot d if i take the take a, take that dot by dot t inside i will get what del dot dot d by dot t 
So now we got an important point here that del dot jd, del dot jd means what divergence of that extra term, okay, jd, whatever, some current density, that is equal to what del dot dot d by dot d. So the, uh, the inside is operator here we have jd, inside the same operator we have dot d by dot d. So they should be equal, del dot jd equal to del dot dot d by dot d means jd and dot d by dot d should be equal. So we can write that jd is equal to dot d divided by dot d. D means what? D is the electric flux density, right? D is the, D is the electric flux density, right? So what it means that, what me, it, it is meaning is that D we can replace with what epsilon E also. What, what is meant is that the JD component of current, this is current density only, right? Somehow it is current, part of the current density only. So the JD component of the current density is happening due to what time rate of change of what electric field, right? Due to the electric field changes only what is happening, we have this particular current component and this component we call as the displacement current displacement current density. This JD is called as displacement current density, clear? So this JD is called as displacement current density and it is happening due to what? It is happening due to the time rate of change of electric field, okay? Due to the change in electric field it is happening. Our conduction current density, what it is? We already know, right? J equal to sigma E, that is different. But here it is due to the change in what? Change in the electric field, okay? Time rate of change in the electric, electric flux density exactly. So if we substitute this JD value in our first equation, that del cross H equal to J plus JD, so it will become what? Del cross H equal to J plus dot D by dot D. So this is our fourth Maxwell's equation after modification. This is our fourth Maxwell's equation after modification. Del cross H equal to J plus dot D by dot D. Means when you have a ma magnetic field produced around it, what it is, uh, there are means there, there are two components of current. One means one is our conduction current density, J equal to sigma e. And there is another component which is what which we call as displacement current density. Okay, that that is uh, equal to what dot d by dot t as we as we got here, which again implies what in this equation this dot d by dot t implies that this is happening due to the time variation of what electric field. Time vary the variation with respect to time in electric field. That particular component of current is what we meant by the displacement current density. So again main point here is that now we are defining what the displacement current density JD equal to what dou D by dot T. That is a displacement current density and the other component of current is what that is what is the conduction current density, conduction current density J equal to sigma E. So uh, the uh, now we are getting into another current also. So where it occurs, that is what is we are going to see next. Where when displacement current density now we already know. Where it is really occurring, this displacement current density, that is what we are going to see. Okay. Again, once again, this is the our modification in Maxwell's equation. What del cross h equal to j plus dou d by dot t. Del cross h equal to j plus dou d by dot t. Okay. That uh, now. Uh, this particular, this particular, in this, what is the contribution of Maxwell is that, that inclusion of what displacement current density, means uh, Maxwell is basically a mathematician, Maxwell is a basically a mathematician and uh, during his time, this uh, the, the concept was just mathematical only, that he added this term, uh, displacement current density, because he understood that uh, when you take the del cross h equal to j in static condition, when it comes to the dynamic condition or when, it, uh, when, when you have time varying field, then that equation is not valid. So there the valid equation is continuity equation. In order to satisfy that, he just added a term, which that term he called as what displacement current density, right? So it was just mathematical and it was just theoretical, just to, uh, for the equation to be true, he added, okay. But that, that, that was, uh, uh, when you come into uh, electromagnetics, you have to verify the same experimentally also. Then also what? Then only we can say that it is relevant. The main problem was that uh, this uh, displacement current density, as I said, it is happening due to what? Elect the variation in electric flux density or the variation in electric field. That is what is causing our displacement current density. When it comes to the normal magnetic field, uh, means the J component, uh, J component, it can happen under what? under normal conduction current also, right? J component is there under normal conduction current also, under DC also. 
or uh, means uh, this JD component will be very much irrelevant when it comes to low frequency. Low frequency means what? There is very less ch uh, change in what the rate of change with respect to time in electric field is comparatively low. So your the displacement current density will, will be irrelevant when it comes to low frequency. But when you are thinking about high frequency, like we have our TV or radio radio waves or high frequency wave, all of them, right? Such application when it comes, then we have we cannot uh, avoid what the displacement current density. Then JD and J both they both become very much comparable. We cannot avoid. We will see its effect and we might have to use the application of this effect. So that uh, in his time when it came to uh, Maxwell. Yeah, when, when he went to experimental verification of that problem uh, what occurred is that that time uh, there was no availability of this high frequency sources at the time of whom at the time of Maxwell there was no time uh, high frequency sources so the time we had to wait and after so many years Hertz uh, is the scientist who proved uh, proved that uh, whatever displacement current density is there it exists or not or the equation del cross h equal to j plus jt that is proved by who the uh, Henrich Hertz okay that is uh, we usually uh, we, uh, the unit of frequency uh, frequency is what given by Hertz right so the same person okay the first man with the beard is Maxwell second man is Hertz okay just to know so the, that is how this happened the interesting uh, part here is that yeah, here mathematics is developed means Maxwell's equation mathematics is developed much prior to what experimental verification of it right that is something that uh, uh, usually don't happen in physics or uh, 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 in science usually right? uh, the mathematics is already developed okay afterwards only means uh, Maxwell already imagined everything in his mind afterwards only what happened uh, other people came into experimental verification of this this is something which happens quite rarely so that is about our second modification now and that is uh, uh, about our second modification now we were discussing about what displacement current density now we can define displacement current also when we know the displacement current density then surface integral over s in whichever surface it is going through that uh, s jd dot ds will give you what the uh, displacement current right displacement current density into, into whatever uh, it is going through so jd we can also replace by dot d dot, dot d by dot t dot ds so Displacement current is a result of what the time varying electric field. Okay, that is the mo uh, mo the major point that you have to remember. Displacement current is a result of the time varying electric field. That is the meaning of this equation. Dot d by dot t dot d s. Dot d by dot t is coming here. So that is the meaning of this equation. An example of such current is the current through a conductor when we are uh, when we are applying an alternating voltage across its terminal. Current through a cap capacitor, right? That is uh, not conduction current anyhow. So that current is what displacement current. When you take a conductor and you apply potential, you will have a current flow which is proportional to the electric field, J equal to sigma e, uh, right? J equal to sigma e. So you will have a current like that. But uh, when you are applying to a, a capacitor, then the, our uh, uh, ca the conduction current density is not true. There, whatever current is flowing, that we call as what the displacement current. So let us take the example of a capacitor here. I have a line like this and I have a capacitor like this. So outside the conductor through to, uh, to its terminus, the current flowing is what? This is the conduction current I. Normal conductors, whatever current is flowing, that is what, uh, uh, what we call as what? Conduction current. So there, uh, there we can apply our ambient circuit law also, right? So this is the direction current, which current carrying conductor. And I am considering a loop. I am considering a loop L and the surface enclosed by that, that also I am considering as what S1. The circular surface that I am considering as S1. So now if we apply our ambient circuit law, what is ambient circuit law? S dot DL equal to the total current enclosed. Right. S dot DL equal to the total current enclosed over the loop. So that is the same as what if we take what we get is what current density J dot DS. Right. If we take over surface S1, J dot DS will be equal to what? The same current angle loss. Again, J, J, when we know J, J dot DS will be equal to the total current engrossed by the surface. There is no doubt about that. Right. So, I engrossed will be the total current. That now that is true. Now, let us the next case. Now, the same loop only. Means I have taken the same loop, the same condition only. 
but now my surface uh, surface i have just changed what is the problem with that so i change the surface into a balloon shape means i have a balloon shaped surface like this as you can see here s2 okay now the surface is going through where surface is going through the in between the plates of the capacitor where your conduction current density is not there right in a, in a, through inside a capacitor anyhow you don't have conduction current so that j the conduction current density j is not the work inside this uh, balloon shaped surface but your ambient circuit law needs to be true so again s dot dl over the loop l i j dot ds equal to what the current and loss but when you take the j, uh, s dot dl equal to what under the loop you have this current and loss but j dot ds is what since uh, through that surface through the surface s2 no current no conduction current is flowing your j is what the current conduction current density is what zero so you will get i enclosed as zero but again your current i i, I is flowing and s dot dl is what the total current enclosed so there is a contradiction again when it comes to ambient circuit law so no conduction current what is the contradiction no conduction current flows through the uh, s for the same closed for close for s2 what no conduction current is flowing through that surface s2 that is our problem so how can we solve that to, res to resolve that if, uh, the same thing whatever we did before we have to just add the displacement current uh, uh, also with this thing or oh, displacement current density should be added with this thing okay so if we it means in s1 what is the thing when you can take the surface s1 then you are s1 means what not the balloon shaped one but the the surface just the circular surface if you take then you are display there is no displacement current in conduct conductors so your jd value is zero and similarly when you are taking s2 means the surface two second surface then you are your current density the to, this current density is what the total current density okay this current density is total current density there what you have uh, means in current density you have two terms one term is what the conduction current density another ter term is the displacement current density when it come to the conductor normal conductor means when it come to this part means wherever your capacitor is not there under that part you have only conduction current density when it come to the inside of this capacitor there you have displacement current density understood if we apply that uh, what we will get j this j dot ds uh, uh, when you take the inside the s2 means under the second loop if you apply that in the second loop part here in this as per this figure if you apply that under s2 we will get what if you take consider j equal to jd means just in density d by dt of d dot ds again that is equal to what the d, d dot ds means what electric flux density only so you get the total flux or you get the charge right so that is equal to again what dq by dt which is again the total current which is flowing so what is the what is the meaning is here meaning here is that when you take a when, when you take a capacitor and a conductor both linked together through the conductor your car, whatever current is flowing is conduction current and inside the capacitor the current is flowing as what displacement current and they both are the same also j equal to minus jd or j, they both are the same means the same current flows inside the inside the conductor as conduction current and the same current will flow inside the uh, what in, inside the capacitor as the displacement current so this is the important point you should understand okay so our current which is going inside a capacitor that that is an example of what displacement current yeah which is happening due to that the change in electric field okay so that is about displacement current with this our module 5 is our we will get, get into next section so, oh, so uh, now uh, let us uh, take the uh, uh, see the summary of this okay so uh, in summary uh, what, what all things we learned in this particular module so our uh, course objective for this module was that you should be able to understand what is happening inside uh, the material when, when you come to electric or magnetic field okay in electric field or magnetic field what will happen inside a material the analysis was our objective for this course so uh, at first we went into what all types of currents are there depending on material you have conduction as well as convection current convection current is something happening in gases conduction current is which happens usually in metals or all type of conductors that we discussed and what is the mechanism that also we discussed that time then we went into classification of materials how materials are classified 
based on conductivity that also we saw we also saw what will be the electric field inside a conductor those things are very important uh, there, there might be theoretical questions uh, from that so we saw that electric field inside a conductor is zero and uh, why it is because of the co conductivity of the material so those all things uh, why it is because of the uh, high conductivity of the material right sigma tends to infinity in an ideal conductor so that uh, that all things we saw then the next part we saw dielectric polarization we define permittivity polarization susceptibility all those quantities and we also saw what is meant by all those things so that was our next session which went was polar polarization for, uh, for, uh, that, that we saw we saw uh, the effect of electric uh, effect on electric field uh, on, due to that uh, then the next one we saw was the continuity equation right uh, del uh, del dot j equal to minus dot v by dot d that continuity equation we define then we saw the different boundary conditions for electric and magnetic field what happens at the boundary between the two materials right uh, before we used to see only one material now we define what is what happens at the boundary between two materials when it comes to electric or magnetic field with that once we know the boundary condition and we know the uh, uh, electric or magnetic field of one side then we will be able to uh, uh, determine the electric or magnetic field on the other side we also so uh, the electro electrostatic shielding property also where when we apply a conductor around something so that also we discuss in boundary condition then then the last part we came into our the modification in maxwell's equation or we are now getting into the time varying field already we are already in time varying field when we start, started our first modification with faraday's law the second modification on ambient circuit law we are quite like into the time varying field or this is our starting into the time varying electromagnetic field so which will be dealt in detail so first we saw faraday max modification faraday's law second modification was based on ambient circuit law okay so the, 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 these are these were the contents which we, which we covered in the last uh, seven lectures uh, now, uh, and uh, we will have a uh, total multi module type uh, quiz uh, ed, uh, i will provide you in google classroom and if you have any doubt uh, on this module you can ask me in the uh, during the next lecture okay so uh, next lecture next module of, uh, after our all discussions and all next module will be on the time varying magnetic field what we will see what will happen when you have time varying field its properties okay how it, we can define it those all things will be uh, deeply uh, dealt uh, in the coming lectures in module 5 thank you